<sighs> what the? I see that. Well, you think you can sneak up on me, boy. Lighthouse is an absolute nightmare. As a map, it's incredibly unpopular among players for its linear design, spawns, and of course the rogue camp. Combined with the quests you get from it, it literally earns the name as the worst map in all of Tarkov. Which is understandable considering the average lighthouse rate looks like this. So let's look into it and figure out why it's so shit. While Lighthouse is beautiful and introduces a lot of new mechanics such as the in-game trader Lighthouse Keeper, I'm getting seasick. It is an absolute nightmare to play. I think you can all get behind me when I say it's atrocious and unforgiving to do basically anything. But let's take Timmy as an example and follow him on a journey. Um, all right, let's go. The game starts off bad, as our friend gets an awful spawn right here. Now, if our friend doesn't leave fast enough, he's about to get blasted by an M80 bullet. But let's say he does leave fast enough, guess what? The guy up here has a sniper and an M80 bullet. It took that guy not even 10 seconds to reach that spot. But our friend is lucky today and manages to cross unharmed. If only he had checked the other guy's spawn. Our friend just had a full lighthouse experience and didn't even have to go far from spawn. With just two fractures and a concussion, Timmy manages to arrive at the northern part of the map. Eventually. This is where Timmy has to go. Timmy has to do the corporate secret quest. Um... Timmy will get shredded into pieces by a turret, sniped by a rogue on a different roof, pushed by PMCs, blown up by landmines, mangled by the goons, or eventually killed by a scaf player. Timmy did not have a good time. Okay. Ah yes, the rogue camp. The from deadly precise and highly aggressive AI heavily guarded water treatment plant. Truly the only place that can make a grown man cry. Please man! <laughs> Oh, boo -hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. And as if that isn't enough, BSG slapped most of the quest on it. At this point, the only people enjoying Lighthouse are sadists and people who enjoy the act of cock and ball torture. The main problem with the camp is that getting in and out without cheesing the rogues is nearly impossible to accomplish, and becomes even harder if you had the great idea to choose bear drip over USEC privilege, to which at that point you need a specific set of movement, kind of like a Mortal Kombat special attack, just to get past them. Because rogues will shoot a bear on sight, and it doesn't even matter if it's pitch black if you pick to beat them or just running mining your own business. And so you avoid these quests and wait for them to stack up until you can't avoid them any longer. Something else you can't avoid is leaving a like for the algorithm. Do it! Or I give Tequila the keys to your hideout. So let's take a look at this quest, shall we? Ironically, this task is called Easy Job, with the only key difference, it's not an easy job. You have to go to the middle of the rogue camp and put down a marker. At that point, you're basically the target of 50,000 rogues. Seaside Vacation being one of the most standard quests, but for some reason, my unlucky ass can't even complete the simplest of tasks, because I keep getting exfil camp Fuck by some guy using M80 bullets. Long road seems pretty straightforward. If scares would actually spawn, or if you wouldn't get decimated for sitting on this rock sniping every time. Ooh, it keeps getting better. An easy enough quest, where you need to mark a few tanks around the map. Unless two of these tanks are once again in the motherfucking... <laughs> reconnaissance. Just fuck reconnaissance. The, in my opinion, worst quest in all of Tarkov. In Corporate Secret, you have to pick up two folders in two different warehouses. Pretty straightforward if there weren't 30,000 rogues aiming at you as soon as you enter their proximity. <sighs> Now, maybe I've been a little bit too harsh to Lighthouse. There's gotta be something good about it. Like, the Lighthouse itself. An awesome location. Stop right there, criminal scum! If us normal people would have a chance of accessing it. Yeah, because to unlock the Keeper and ultimately open up your passage to the Lighthouse, you basically have to complete a bazillion quests. Then you get this orange butt plug, and at this point, the Lighthouse is free for you to roam. Something as peasants can only dream of. Please, sir. I want lighthouse access. What? But there is a way how we can still set foot on lighthouse territory and not only regain our honor, but also gain a shit ton of money in the process. 
killing Zeriaki. A monumental task which earns the one who succeeds eternal glory in the Hall of Fame. Let me explain. Equip your PMC with a long-range crappy Adar, cheese Zeriaki and his followers with a pixel pick which already is hard enough for itself, make your way over the bridge by avoiding the countless mines scattered across by barely surviving each blow. At this point, the Lightkeeper will already have closed the doors on you, but you can still be on his doorstep. Loot the entire map and of course Zeriaki, loot the marked room since the key is basically worthless and most peasants don't even have access to the lighthouse anyways, because we work 9 to 5 and can't afford to be gaming all day, make your way back across the bridge and exfil with the biggest bag any labs buffoon can only dream of. At this point the keeper will hate you, which is understandable. You just killed his guards and vacuum cleaned the entire island. Screw the keeper, do it again. To be honest, since PSG removed the lighthouse for everybody to access, the good loot has gotten low. I mean, sure you can still get into the water treatment plant and get some good rogue loot and, if you're lucky, a bitcoin or a moonshine. But the risk reward is way too out of balance. You can also loot the chalet area and check the few rare item spawns just to get out with a goddamn guitar pick, but honestly, it's not even worth it at this point. Or at least, in my honest opinion. But what could be done to improve the map? Well, I think I personally have a pretty good idea. So how about we put a mountain up there at use and create a passageway through it? The catch is you can't look down from there, but at least that would move a few spawns further apart. Remove the smoke over here so it's easier to peek, make this passage walkable without being shot, or just straight away add some sort of walkable underground water system, since this is a water treatment plant. Put stairs up here and put a big pipe entrance down here. Boom, problem solved. Now, I'm not a big streamer, nor do I have anything to say in the decision making of EFT. I merely create content for entertainment purpose, which is why these changes will never be implemented. This is just what I would personally enjoy. And if you have any ideas on how to improve Lighthouse, let me know in the comments. And do you agree or disagree with me?